What's happening Copper fam? Timsy here coming at you from Sao Paulo, Brazil, home city of historic club Palmeiras to take on one of their wonder kids in a special Timsy vs the World Challenge. Before that though, Adidas Brazil have invited us here to check out their new third kit, which is beautiful obviously, train at their unbelievable training ground and in general just find out more about this unbelievable club. This is a club that's brought us the likes of Roberto Carlos and Gabriel Jesus. Will I be taking on the new Gabriel Jesus? Let's find out. As you can probably tell, you can see me in the new training gear. They've hooked us up with the bag as well. We're off to the training ground, the new training ground, and look what we're traveling in. The Palmeiras team bus, the actual one the Palmeiras players use. This is crazy. At the training ground now, we've just arrived. So before being taken through our paces on the pitch, we're actually giving a tour of the training ground. We're going to be told all about Palmeiras as a club. There's uma história maravilhosa, uma equipe que uma vez que de origem italiana, mas que abraçou um povo, né, e contagiou o país. So we've come up to the area where the players chill out after the training, before training. We've got table football, air hockey, we've got snooker, we've even got a poker table right at the end. The new third kit of Palmeiras, this is me. Number 17, Copa 90, this is it, training game, soon come, what? Oh, what a way to finish day one. Unbelievable. We are now in Jardim Perry, which is the little neighborhood where Gabriel Jesus is from, uh, where he grew up, where he played football. This is amazing. Tem essa gingada, tem tudo. Porque ele nasce com a bola na mão. Ele já pratica desde o Rio. Tá uma bola do brasileiro de presente. É como dar um carro. Um estudo maravilhoso, porque ele só vê a oportunidade dele de se tornar alguém através daquela bola. We've got a nice little astro pitch, We've got all the kids from the favela playing here. And obviously behind you can see how much Gabriel Jesus means to this, this little neighborhood. These are also the streets he used to clean and now he's painted on the wall. It's just incredible to see man. One of these could be the next Gabriel Jesus, you never know. To the rain? Chaves. <laughs> it's only really when you like actually come here and chat to the people that you realize how important Gabriel Jesus is for this not just this like neighborhood this favela but equally just the city in general like he's seen as as this golden boy who is a perfect example of of what that passion for football and growing up in the streets what it can what it can, what it can turn into it's, it's just amazing when you talk about a Brazilian marketplace yeah a local marketplace this is what you think about. Fruit, veg, meat, cheeses, everything. This is at the Moya. Oh my god, that's not one of the nicest fruits I've ever had in my entire life. I'm gonna buy one. I think I played like what they call like a gringo price. But anyway, this is it. You're just getting involved in the Brazilian culture. I love it. So good. Right. So after spending time at Gabriel Jesus' favela earlier today, now we're at the Adidas store in Sao Paulo. And we're going to be seeing some of Palmeiras' players, ex-players, legends, and current players as well. Palmeiras players have arrived. Entre jogador e gestor, fiquei oito anos no Palmeiras e nesses oito anos eu consegui 12 títulos. O Palmeiras representa milhares de pessoas aqui em São Paulo, não só em São Paulo, mas como no Brasil. É um time de muita história, muita tradição e só tem a crescer. Então não entendo, não consigo enxergar a cidade de São Paulo sem o Palmeiras. É um ícone e uma referência para a cidade. Uma responsabilidade muito grande, uma honra muito grande também, né? É, mas uma felicidade muito grande também de poder representar, né, de estar vestindo essa camisa, de estar jogando né, num clube tão grande. 
Yes, Copper fam, Timsy here, and we are in Sao Paulo. We've been here for a few days getting to know this amazing club, Palmeiras, and I'm joined by one of their stars, a star of Brazilian football. It is Artur. How are you doing? Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Everyone knows Brazilian Wonder Kids, they've got something special. So, this is what I'm doing today it's Timsy versus the World Challenge to see what makes a Brazilian Wonder Kid so good. It's all about the flair, it's all about the tricks, it's all about the skills, and then we'll see who comes out on top. Just to warm up, we know this is this is Brazilian Wonder Kids bread and butter. It's just going to be simple two touch. No, no, no thigh. That's my safety net. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, that was it. I lost the warm up. It was a, it was a warm up, so it doesn't really count. But now this is it. We're going to find out what it is like to be a Brazilian one. First one is going to be the rainbow flick into a volley. Three attempts each. Who can do the best one? Are you ready, Igor? Okay, got one. I got one. Okay. Well, that's one for one. Yeah. No. <laughs> I snatched it. <laughs> no! Yeah. I tried. Okay, one. One out of three. Ah! Oh! Oh! He's ready. He's ready. Ay! <laughs> <laughs> This one is like a signature move, it's the Elastico. Everyone knows the Elastico. So what we're gonna do is an Elastico to the finish, see who can do the best Elastico finish. Ready? Okay. Oh no! Oh, it's gone, <laughs> it's gone, bye. <laughs> Artur's just told me his favorite move isn't the Elastico, it's actually the double step over and push. No! You have to teach me how to do it. No! Oh, what? Oh, oh, come on! This is it. This is it. What, what it's like being a defender first time. Yes! Oh! Oh, you're good save though, hey! Oh my god, that's so quick! Yes! <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's too good, that move. Right, we did the little signature move, the Elastico. Artur showed me his own special move. It was too good for me. This one, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be better at. It's the Rabona penalty. Okay, Artur's up first. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, close, close. Yeah, it's exactly the same position. Oh! oh. So what do you got? Oh, oh god, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. Yes. Unfortunately for a gal in goal and me, uh, Artur was actually a bit of a professional at the old Rabona penalty. He scored all three. I scored one, but it's not quite three, is it? Last one to settle it. It's the 1v1. Artur is really going to show me how good he is at attacking. I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet are too fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's it now. Nah, I'm going home. It's too good. So, that was it for the Brazilian Wonder Kid Timsy versus the World special. I took on Artur from Palmeiras, rising star of Brazilian football. And I did get humiliated, but I thought that's sort of standard. It's like a rite of passage in Brazil. You, you're, you're too good. You're... Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ele deve sinar para Palmeiras. 
Ele, se ele deve jogar no é. primeiro? Sim, sim. Yeah. Oh, Perfect. Lógico que sim. Thank you, thank you. So that was totally not scripted, yeah? He just <laughs> thought of that. He's like, yeah, he should. Our tour, obviously, he's an unbelievable player, but in general as well, this trip, it's been incredible finding out more about this club. So, uh, Copa Fam, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll see you next time in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. It's amazing here, so definitely come if you can. Have, Have a nice. nice. Yeah! <laughs> thank you. Thank you.